up guys it's really the tech guy here once again today we have quite a conversation we want to have and uh, this conversation surrounds a new feature that was introduced by color os and is coming to other various os's we're gonna see that uh, or other uis but it's something that ideally i have gotten to use for some time and it works um, not as i would expect it but ideally it works and this is the ram expansion feature now if you have a reno 5 a reno 5f or the reno 6 you have the ability to dedicate some of your storage that is your rom and convert it to make it ram and uh, as is important i just want to lay down the, the concepts so that you're able to understand ram expansion you know it looks like a very good selling point uh, for Oppo, does it really work? Is it just a gimmick? Now you understood it, to pick a Leo. And uh, as is important, let me just help us understand where does this concept in Atokapi. Now, if you have if you have a Windows laptop, there's what we call VRAM or virtual RAM. And ideally, concept ni, you have your RAM and uh, every laptop or computer, every Windows PC uh comes with a specified uh, number that is your ram ram is random access memory e, this is in ile memory uh, when you're when you're trying to use something it's the memory that um, any app will store data in so that it becomes easy to uh, retrieve and collect that data because ideally story, story of memory ni read and write read and write read and write because it's reading um the app is reading from whatever you're, you're using and the app is also writing to your storage so this memory that is used by any electronic device for that bit is called the random access memory and uh, app and your makes the computer works easier so that the faster you know if you're maybe if you're on a laptop you're doing photoshop that ability just read and write very quickly to open uh, you know presets and brushes uh, it's it's stored within that capability that is why say like on a phone uh, once in a while it's very good to always you know once in a while just go up uh, open all the tabs and then just close so that at least you keep your uh, ram clean or anytime you're using a booster part of the work of the booster is to just make sure it cleans all open apps so that it frees up more ram for you so a daily concept will talk about windows no this is how it works so you ever have 1 GB RAM, 2 GB RAM, and this is always in the factors of uh, 1024. That's story for another day. So, we one, we two, we four, we six, go up all the way to eight, 12, and all that. You know, RAM sticks either in ones or in, in twos. Now, if you have a 4 GB RAM laptop and you don't have the money to upgrade, because at times some of these RAMs need removable. So if you don't have the money to upgrade, maybe to aid or change the sticks, um, what you would do in, in such a case, you would go into your settings, go into uh, your device manager, uh, and Dani, you talk about uh, performance, then in performance, you're able to look at uh, VRAM. And VRAM, me, you're ideally going to dedicate part of your storage. So maybe you can have 1TB HDD, I'm going to 500 GB now on a space ni mob now you need more in the RAM so babu RAM in a side of the read and write of this how so any computer or laptop or phone that hangs most probably you might uh, realize that there might be a problem with the RAM sector so now on as a dedicate part of your HDD or part of your hard drive and you could check V RAM so that you're able to have more RAM which means after if you have many apps opened, uh, they are able to ideally balance the usage of the RAM. Na for long is kicked into the VRAM so that the one that you're using uh, more effectively is the one that's held in the actual RAM. Now, uh, one of the cons of VRAM is that because it's not the same speed, you know, the RAM stick or the RAM module has faster speeds than a hard disk 
So if you have an SD, SSD that you're using and you dedicate some VRAM from there, at least you're going to get better performance. But if you're dedicating it from a hard disk, uh, the, the, the speed might be a bit slower because ukona RAM, which is very fast, na ukona a hard disk, and you might not be as fast as your RAM. So if you dedicate some of your storage from the hard disk, kukua VRAM, highwayzi much speed ya RAM. That's, that's what is going to happen. But, Haimanishi, it won't help you because any app that was open, na inatumia RAM, na haiko active, kwa inarushua kwa VRAM, so that it does not load up your RAM and make it fast. Let's only explain the concept. You have a dual carriage road, na inatumia barabara. All these vehicles, um, going on the dual carriage are the elements that are you being used up in your ram now the more elements they are then the more traffic you're going to have so doing vram is like adding a third lane which might be maybe maram or the way some roads have an extension that other cars might pass through which might not be as fast as the ram because ram near lami but e extension near maram but it will help you offload some of the cars from the main uh, highway to this other bit so that you're able to have that flow. So that's the concept of virtual RAM. So Oppo first uh, debuted this RAM expansion feature in the ColorOS 11.1. It, 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 was, it was amazing. You know, guys were like, wow, this is a very nice um, selling point. And um, let me say, Oppo phones uh, ideally come already packed like the uh, Renault 5, the Renault 5F, the S Renault 6 uh, 5G. All of them come packed with 8 gigs of RAM, which is ideally sufficient RAM if you're not a heavy user. Now, let me say this. If you don't use your phone, if you don't task your phone very much, you won't really feel the difference with the RAM expansion. But if you task your phone, you're a gamer, you know, you're playing some Call of Duty, some PUBG, uh, some crossfire, you know, you're, you're, you're having so many apps, editing apps, uh, music apps, all of these things, then your phone's RAM will be tasked. And that's why such people require the extra expansion. Now, what happens in uh, ColorOS 11 uh, is that you have quite a number of options. If you go over to the, to the about phone, then gives you all the details about the phone. If you go to the RAM, if you toggle the RAM expansion feature on, you have three options. You have 2 GB, you can expand it by two, so from eight to make 10, by three GB from eight to make 11, and by five GB from eight to make 13. And these settings always apply or take effect after you restarted your phone. So anytime you're, you're scrolling and you, uh, uh, when you go over to the recent apps uh, menu, you, you can now be able to see, uh, like in my case, I, I have 8 GB plus 5 GB, that's 13, and I have 3.5 GB available. So it means it's picked quite a lot uh, of the RAM. So I, it's used almost about 10 GB of the RAM and gives me uh, about three to use. Now, what, some of the things that really use a lot of RAM, number one, things like games, uh, the browser. If you have a browser and you have so many tabs open, I promise you that's gonna eat up your RAM. So it, it's important to note uh, some of the things that eat up RAM, some of the things that actually do use internet or they have to have communication lines through the internet. Some of those things really conserve, uh, really consume your RAM. And that's why for me, I think that the RAM expansion feature to many people who don't task their phones, it might just look like just another good selling point. But for people who really use their phones, they task them to the max, that extra RAM is needed. Again, it, it might not be as fast because the speed of the RAM and the speed of the, of the storage, because in this case, we are dealing with UFS 2.1 uh, vis-a-vis, you know, I think, is it GG DDR4 RAM on uh, the Reno? Slightly, a slight difference in uh, speed, but ideally, an extra boost in performance if you're looking at, you know, 
heavy usage of your phone. So if you're shopping out for a phone and you really want something with a lot of RAM, you know, if you're talking about um, phones that have 12 GB RAM, like the Find uh, 3, uh, you know, you're looking at those, ideally you really have to spend quite some bucks. But if uh, you're settling like with the Oppo Reno 6 that retails for about 50 something thousand uh, and you have their ability to expand your RAM through RAM expansion or you can go for the Oppo Reno 5 with uh, about 42K, you're able to do that or even because it's available on the Oppo Reno 5F, you can do that. And these are some of the things that just help you kick in that better performance and you're able to avoid the lagging issue. So, RAM expansion on the Oppo series based on ColorOS. Is it a gimmick? No. It might not be as fast, but let me tell you, it's something good to have. I normally say this, there are things you better have than not use, than want to have and not, want to use and not have. And for me, the color uh, OS capabilities that give me the option of expanding my RAM and take that any day, any time. That's a wrap from us, guys. Please tell us what are some of the things that you'd like us to talk about in this candid conversation segment. You know, talked about the, the RAM expansion. We can even talk about high megapixels. Are they a gimmick? You know, keep the conversation going. Tell us what you want us to cover for you and we'll make sure that we we'll bring it right to your screens. It's a wrap. Peace out.